four weeks, thousands of athletes from around the world will come to Chicago to compete in the Lifetime Chicago Triathlon. And our Mike Lowe is participating again and raising money for a good cause. In part one of Triathlon Tuesday, we meet the charity It Takes a Village Chicago. The whole corporate America thing is different. Charles Wilson is at the office. I'm putting contracts and different CRMs. The 21-year-old Harold Washington College student is a summer intern at Jet Support Services, a leading aviation consultant which provides maintenance service programs for business jets. Typical day for me at work is I'm coming in, I'm on my computer, and I'm doing contract renewals. Got all the emails back from the CRMs, and I'm finna merge all the final accounts into one. His supervisor, Julie Burke, knows his work ethic was built in the weight room. It definitely, you know, translates, um, you know, into how he comes here every day or how he arrives at work every day. Wilson himself draws a direct line from the time he put in at the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club on the west side. Man, this, this is the beginning of where, where it all started. To the work he's doing at the JSSI offices in this West Loop high rise. In a sense, the gym expanded his view of what was possible. Coming to work every day and seeing this is inspiring. Um, it shows me it's more to the city than the community I came from. Feel that hammy stretch, dog. It all started when Cam Paulson Help! I like that right there. Good stuff. Keep it going right here. A former strength coach for both the Ohio State University and University of Florida football teams. Loving those reps. There you go. <laughs> moved to Chicago to open his gym. Almost there. Strive Village. Finish it up. Finish it up. All right, rest! He also started volunteering at the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club, but noticed the weight room also needed some work. I was kind of in disrepair and uh, Cam being the guy that he was, he took a look in here and was like, we gotta get you new equipment. Boys and Girls Club director Will Edmondson said the new weights brought new excitement and an instant change. Teens were suddenly excited to start working out, staying off the streets and pushing themselves past their previous limits. Those values are, you know, many of the values we try to instill in all of our programs here at the club and especially here in this fitness center, uh, you know, the value of determination, hard work, all of those things are, you know, like I said, instilled in our young people, and they can use those values, you know, in life. Good. Good, Chuck. Great job. Big hit. Wilson is just one example of success in strength training. It's bigger than a gym. It's a big impact on the youth. The gyms kept me and a lot of people that used the gyms out of trouble from my neighborhood. You're starting shoulder press. Probably go 25, 10 of them. Over the last six years, Paulson, through his charity, It Takes a Village Chicago, I like those reps, has built 10 state-of-the-art weight rooms, each costing about $100,000 or more, eights, sixes, fours, and we're finishing, at community centers and Chicago schools that otherwise couldn't afford them. This isn't possible without funds to, to build these high-end weight rooms. You know, we're not, we're not going into these places and building subpar weight rooms. I want to give these schools and organizations something really special. Explode! It Takes a Village Chicago is a small nonprofit that's making a big impact on the lives of Chicago youth. Hey, elbows high, stick it, control it out. It's why this year, WGN is partnering with the charity to help build the next weight room. This is just a place where I can teach and show what hard work and grit and dedication and showing up can do for somebody it can do everything for somebody. 10, Mike, let's go 10. I'm training to compete in the Lifetime Chicago Triathlon. 15 here, good, Mikey. Stick at the top, Mike. No happy face, Mike. And Paulson and Wilson put me through one of their tough workouts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Every Tuesday in August, we'll take you along for the journey. Good, 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 good. As we get ready for the triathlon and try to raise money for It Takes a Village Chicago. All right, let's go. Get over here, dude. Now we can put on his happy face at the end now that he's done. <laughs> and join us for Triathlon Tuesday every week in August as we follow Mike's training. If you'd like to contribute to It Takes a Village Chicago, we've got all the information on your screen and online at WGNTV.com. Way to go.